where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. I can't help but feeling sorry for Naomi. She and her family moved to Moab to save them from famine in Israel. But then she loses them all. She had two sons to take care of her in her old age. They married loving, though foreign, wives, and her sons died, both of them. No wonder she returned to Bethlehem and insisted on being called Mara, which means bitter. She said, I went away full, and the Lord has brought me back empty. When she had left ten years before, she'd been full of hope for a better life in a new place. She'd had her husband and her two sons, but she came back without hope and with only a foreign daughter-in-law, which to the Jews really wasn't much at all. But there was one problem. Naomi had underestimated God. In God, there's always hope. And what he empties, he stands ready to fill. Sometimes he has to empty us. Empty us of pride. That's often quite painful and embarrassing. But then he can fill us with humility. One can't have both pride and humility. Or perhaps he needs to empty us of anger so he can fill us with joy. Maybe he has to drain us of impatience so he can fill us with patience. Or he needs to replace selfishness with generosity, resentment and grudges with forgiveness, fear with courage, greed with contentment. That's how God works to make us holy, to make us more like Christ. Sometimes this happens little by little, and sometimes it comes with a crisis and complete emptiness like it did with Naomi. But you can be sure he's not going to empty you and just leave you alone. Naomi arrived in Bethlehem, poor and hopeless, empty. But by the end of the book of Ruth, she was full. Not only had she found family and a home with Ruth and Boaz and their son Obed, but she realized that God had not left her hopeless and alone. He'd always been with her the whole time. And he had provided Ruth, her loyal daughter-in-law, who loved her. And as the women of the village reminded her, Ruth had been more to her than seven sons. So, if you're feeling empty and discouraged and alone, know that God has never left your side. He has something for you that you can't even imagine right now. Try counting your blessings, and you may, like Naomi, realize you have more than you thought. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. I'm Carla Early, and thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.